Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like kebabs. Grilled meat skewers, often marinated in flavorful spices, are a common sight in Togolese street food stalls. You can find beef, goat, kebabs, known as brochettes, in Togo, or a popular and delicious street food enjoyed throughout the country. Togolese brochettes are typically made by skewering pieces of meat, often beef, goat, or chicken, and grilling them to perfection. Here's more about brochettes in Togo. Ingredients. Meat. Beef, goat, and chicken are the most common meats used for brochettes. The meat is usually cut into small, bite-sized pieces. Marinade. Brochettes are marinated in a flavorful mixture that includes ingredients like garlic, ginger, chili peppers, salt, black pepper, and local spices. The marinade infuses the meat with a rich, aromatic taste. Skewers. The marinated meat is threaded onto skewers, often with vegetables like onions, bell peppers, and sometimes tomatoes or mushrooms, providing additional flavor and texture. Preparation. Marination. The meat is typically marinated for a few hours or even overnight to allow the flavors to penetrate the meat thoroughly. Skewering. After marination, the meat and vegetables are threaded onto skewers, creating a colorful and flavorful combination. Grilling. The skewers are then grilled over an open flame or charcoal. The grilling process imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the meat while ensuring it's cooked to perfection. Serving. Brochettes are usually served hot and can be accompanied by various side dishes or condiments. Common accompaniments include bread, rice, or a spicy sauce. Variations. While beef, goat, and chicken are the most popular choices for brochettes, some vendors might offer other proteins like fish or pork. The choice of vegetables for skewering can vary, depending on what's in season and available. Sauces and condiments. Brochettes are often served with a variety of sauces and condiments, such as spicy pepper sauce, tomato-based sauces, or mustard. Chinchinga. These are spicy grilled meat skewers similar to kebabs, often seasoned with spices and served with hot pepper sauce. Chinchinga, also spelled chinchinka, or chichinga, is a popular street food in some West African countries, including Ghana and Togo. It consists of skewered and grilled meat, often beef or goat, but it can also include chicken or fish. Chinchinga is known for its delicious smoky flavor and is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Here's how chinchinga is typically prepared and served. Ingredients. Meat. The choice of meat is crucial. Beef and goat are the most common options, prized for their flavor and tenderness. The meat is usually cut into small, bite-sized pieces. Marinade. The meat is marinated in a flavorful mixture that includes ingredients like garlic, ginger, chili peppers, onions, soy sauce, oil, and various spices. The marinade infuses the meat with a rich and aromatic taste. Skewers. The marinated meat is threaded onto skewers, often alternating with pieces of vegetables like onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes. The skewers can be made from metal or bamboo sticks. Grilling. Open flame or charcoal. Chinchinga is traditionally grilled over an open flame or charcoal, giving it a distinct smoky flavor. The skewers are slowly turned to ensure even cooking and to prevent burning. Basting. During grilling, the meat may be basted with the leftover marinade or a mixture of oil and spices to keep it moist and flavorful. Serving. Hot and fresh. Chinchinga is best enjoyed hot and fresh off the grill. Sauces. It is typically served with a variety of spicy and tangy sauces, which can include peanut sauce, tomato-based sauces, or pepper sauce. These sauces add an extra layer of flavor to the dish. Side dishes. Depending on where you have chinchinga, it may be served with side dishes like flatbreads, fried rice, fried plantains, or simple salads. Chinchinga is not only a delicious street food but also a social experience. In Ghana, for example, you'll often find vendors grilling chinchinga on the streets, and it's a common choice for an evening snack or meal. The aroma of the grilling meat and the flavorful sauces make chinchinga a must-try when exploring West African cuisine. Togolese Sandwiches Local sandwich stalls offer various sandwich fillings, including grilled meat, eggs, vegetables, and condiments. Togolese sandwiches, like sandwiches in many other countries, offer a convenient and tasty way to enjoy a quick meal or snack. These sandwiches are often served by street vendors or small eateries in Togo, and they come in various forms and flavors. Here are some common Togolese sandwich options. Baguette sandwiches. Baguette-style bread is a common choice for making sandwiches in Togo. 
you can find a variety of fillings, including grilled meats, omelets, vegetables, and condiments. Grilled Meat Sandwiches Grilled meat sandwiches, often made with beef, goat, or chicken, are a popular street food option. The meat is typically seasoned with spices and served with toppings and sauces. Egg Sandwiches Omelette or fried egg sandwiches are a simple and satisfying choice. They may be accompanied by vegetables, cheese, and sauces. Veggie Sandwiches Vegetarian sandwiches featuring fresh vegetables like lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions are widely available. These are often seasoned with condiments like mayonnaise, mustard, or hot pepper sauce. Sausage Sandwiches Sausages, both local and imported varieties, are used to create flavorful sandwiches. They may be accompanied by onions, peppers, and sauces. Chicken Sandwiches Grilled or fried chicken sandwiches with various toppings and sauces are a tasty option. You might find variations like spicy chicken sandwiches. Tuna salad sandwiches. Tuna salad sandwiches made with canned tuna, mayonnaise, and spices are a quick and filling choice. Avocado sandwiches. Avocado lovers can enjoy avocado sandwiches, often combined with other vegetables and condiments for added flavor. Cheese sandwiches. Cheese sandwiches featuring slices of cheese like cheddar or Swiss are simple yet satisfying. Customization. Depending on the vendor or eatery, you may have the option to customize your sandwich by choosing your preferred fillings, vegetables, and condiments. Side snacks. Some sandwich vendors also offer side snacks like fried plantains, potato chips, or coleslaw to complement your meal. Beverages. You can typically pair your sandwich with a variety of beverages, including soft drinks, water, or locally brewed drinks. Togolese sandwiches are known for their delicious flavors and the use of fresh, locally sourced ingredients. They provide a convenient and affordable way to enjoy a quick meal while exploring the vibrant street food scene in Togo. Fried Fish Togo's proximity to the coast means that you can find delicious fried fish, often served with spicy sauce and garnished with vegetables. Fried fish is a popular and delicious street food in Togo, a coastal West African country known for its rich seafood cuisine. Togolese fried fish is typically prepared with fresh catch from the Atlantic Ocean, and it's a flavorful and satisfying dish enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Here's how fried fish is typically prepared and served in Togo. Ingredients Fish Various types of fish are used for frying, depending on what's available locally. Common choices include tilapia, mackerel, herring, or catfish. The fish are typically cleaned and scaled. Seasoning the fish are seasoned with a mixture of ingredients that often include salt, pepper, garlic, ginger, onion, and sometimes local spices or herbs to enhance the flavor. Breading or coating. Some recipes call for coating the fish in flour, breadcrumbs, or cornmeal before frying. This creates a crispy outer layer. Oil. A generous amount of vegetable oil, such as palm oil or peanut oil, is used for frying. The choice of oil can influence the flavor of the fried fish. Preparation. Seasoning. The cleaned fish are marinated with the seasoning mixture, allowing them to absorb the flavors for some time, usually at least 15 to 30 minutes. Frying. The fish are deep fried in hot oil until they are golden brown and crispy. The frying process typically takes a few minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the fish. Draining. After frying, the fish are removed from the oil and placed on paper towels or a wire rack to drain excess oil and maintain their crispiness. Serving. Accompaniments. Fried fish in Togo is often served with side dishes like fried plantains, aloko, yam chips, rice, or couscous. These accompaniments add variety and complement the fish. Sauces. Fried fish is commonly served with flavorful sauces. Togolese tomato-based sauces or spicy pepper sauces are popular choices. These sauces add a tangy and spicy kick to the dish. Garnishes. Fresh herbs, like parsley or cilantro, and sliced vegetables may be used to garnish the fried fish and enhance its presentation. Fried fish is a beloved street food in Togo and can be found at street stalls, local eateries, and beachfront restaurants along the country's coastline. It's a delicious way to experience the fresh seafood and vibrant flavors of Togo's culinary culture. Grilled corn. Grilled corn on the cob is a simple and tasty snack often sold by street vendors. Grilled corn, often referred to as roasted corn on the cob, is a popular street food in many countries around the world, including Togo. It's a simple yet delicious snack that's enjoyed for its smoky flavor and natural sweetness. 
Here's how grilled corn is typically prepared and served in Togo. Ingredients. Corn on the cob. Fresh and ripe corn on the cob is used for grilling. The husks are usually removed, leaving the kernels exposed. Seasoning. Grilled corn in Togo is often seasoned with a mixture of spices and condiments to enhance its flavor. Common seasonings may include salt, pepper, and sometimes a touch of chili powder or paprika for a bit of heat. Preparation. Husking. The outer husks and silk, the fine threads, of the corn are removed, leaving the clean corn on the cob. Seasoning. The corn on the cob is then brushed or coated with the seasoning mixture. The seasonings can adhere better to the corn when it's slightly damp. Grilling. Direct heat. The seasoned corn on the cob is placed on a grill over direct heat. The grill may use charcoal or an open flame to cook the corn. Turning. To ensure even cooking, the corn is turned occasionally to allow all sides to char and develop a smoky flavor. This process typically takes around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the heat of the grill. Serving. Butter or condiments. After grilling, the corn on the cob may be brushed with melted butter for added richness and flavor. Some vendors may offer additional condiments like lime juice, chili sauce, or grated cheese. Garnishes. Fresh herbs or spices like chopped cilantro, parsley, or extra chili powder can be sprinkled over the grilled corn for a finishing touch. Presentation. Grilled corn is often served on a stick or with a wooden handle for easy holding and eating. It's a convenient and portable street food. Grilled corn is a beloved snack and street food in Togo, especially during the corn harvest season. It's a delightful way to savor the natural sweetness of fresh corn combined with the smoky, seasoned flavors from the grill. Whether enjoyed at a street vendor's stall or a local market, grilled corn is a tasty and satisfying treat for both locals and visitors alike.